magnificent specimen of dioptase and I think we're looking at some villamite associated here. This would be from the Antola mine, Brazzaville, Congo. So the nor northern copper fields of the, uh, well this wouldn't be Katanga, this would be the northern parts of the Congo separate little republic. Um, we have these dioptase crystals which are slightly elongated and very similar to the ones we'd find in the Kaoka felt. And also the green is a little bit lighter than the typical dark dioptase, although I must say these are pretty dark. So let's first of all, for Paul perspective, we've got a little cavity which was quite common to the the uh, uh, the Antola mine uh, uh, dioptases, a little cavity, almost a cast of dioptase. Well, it's pretty solid dioptase, the specimen. And then sitting there would be tiny uh, villamite crystals. Let me just move a little bit closer. You can maybe see the almost the creamy white crystals going around like that, solid crystalline dioptase around here. Those two on top, quite lovely, jutting out. Now, on my still pictures, I think what I didn't get into focus was this particular section. Perhaps because there was so much happening here. Quite, quite lovely, these dioptase crystals jutting out. Uh, sitting on there, let's go across here. I think that would I'd be used as the base. So, we could also lie it flat like this, across like that. I would prefer the other way around though, where you can actually, where you have this vug with that crown of dioptase running across it. All the way from the Antola mine, Brazzaville, Congo, dioptase with villamite.